Hi, I'm Lauren. Welcome back. It's day 154, and I'm staying with my friend Linda, who is Dutch. And I, most of the time I'm up in the studio working on things. I just like to make things, and I'm always coming up with new ideas, and uh, I have a lot of experience doing a lot of different things, so I, I work a lot. And she made a comment the other day about, you work so much, you're American, and Europeans just wouldn't work like you do. And that's really an interesting thought. If you're an entrepreneur, you must have to work. I mean, you can't, you can't be, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to some entrepreneurs and see how they manage it. I went to Amsterdam yesterday, and it was a real mixed bag of things that I saw. I've been hearing about this place called Coffee and Coconuts, and I keep seeing them in a distance, but I thought, I'm going to go there today because I'm just curious about it, and I want to have a nice cappuccino to start my day. So I went there, and it's really a fabulous venue. The coffee shop slash restaurant is in an old cinema theater that was active during the Roaring Twenties, so it's pretty... It has some really amazing, has some amazing features and details, and I just went around with my camera and videoed, <laughs> videoed things and took pictures of things. But anyway, one of the things that I like a lot is they have these tables. So there's a whole row of tables upstairs, and then they are attached on one end to a railing, and then on the other end they are held by ropes. And these ropes are way up high in the ceiling, maybe like 25 feet up in the ceiling. It's really dramatic to see a whole row of tables like that. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool. I And the coffee and the, and the breakfast was really great too. So after I left there, I walked around and I walked and I walked, which is what I do. And I, I came across this block where just out of the corner of my eye, I saw uh, sort of a naked woman. And I then, I then I saw the red fluorescent lights on either side of the window. And this is just, it's, um, it's a display of sex workers. And I, it's just sort of a random thing. I wasn't expecting that because I know there's a red light district elsewhere in Amsterdam. But there, here was this block or two of women that were sitting in the windows. And I'm trying not to look, but I'm so curious, right? And so um, I have to tell you, they're flawless. They, they don't have cellulite. They're beautiful. I'm sure that they're very expensive. But um, I, I, I sort of admire them. You know, I don't understand what they do. Um, but anyway, it's, it's always interesting to run across a red light district. And then about a block away, I saw some men's urinals outside near a canal. And I'd heard, there was a bit of a controversy about them putting out these, these men's urinals. Um, so I, I saw a couple of them and you you can tell that someone is in the urinals but you can't really make out their shapes or who they are or anything so I don't know I wish they had something like that for women but I guess if you wait long enough it could happen I got a new planner slash date book and I'm really intrigued with it it's each each day is a page but on each page there are five places where you can put in the year. So you go through the whole planner date book and you write down what happened that day or whatever you want to document in the book. And then at the end of the year, you just keep going and you use the book again and you use the the next group of lines for the next year and so on and so on. And so it's a five-year planner and I just think it is so cool. Um, yeah, I, I bought a planner for this year and I just, I haven't really used it that much. It's, I, you know, I don't have a lot of meeting and stuff going on, so I don't really need a lot of space. 
but I do like, I'm intrigued with the idea of comparing what happened on January 1st for the last five years. That's interesting. And then lastly, I was on my way back home on the metro, and it was very crowded, and I had just gotten in the car, and I was sitting down, and this man said, may I sit by you? And I said, sure. So I scooch over, and he sits next to me, and we go through a few stations, and I look up, and all the cars are empty. It's just the two of us. I mean, not all of the cars are empty, but there are most, most of the cars are, are empty. And, and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, well, this is weird. We're kind of crammed in together, but there's all this space. And then the more I started thinking about it, I was like, and the, it wasn't that I didn't trust or I felt uncomfortable around the, about the man per se, but it just felt weird to not kind of spread out a little bit, you know, now that the cars were empty. And maybe it's an American thing, you know, Americans got to have their space and uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure he was Dutch, and so the Dutch are a little bit more used to being in close quarters, I think. Anyway, I did end up scooching over just a couple of seats, just to kind of give him some room. It's not like I, you know, walked across to the other side of the train or something, but there for a while I was trying to figure out, what am I going to do? This is weird. <sighs> anyway, I had a lot of fun in Amsterdam. It's There's always a mix of things. And I'd like to know, what are you doing today?